Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to the first episode of this parallel investigator the Dream Eaters uh, campaign playthrough. And we are starting off with uh, scenario 1A, uh, Beyond the Gates of Sleep, and beginning the playthroughs with skits, uh, parale parallel skits to be exact. So um, I did a deck overview video earlier. So if you are interested in seeing the deck and my thoughts on the deck in more detail, I will put, put a link to the upper right corner of this video right now. So if you want, haven't seen that um, deck overview video uh, earlier, go check that out before watching this playthrough. So you know uh, what cards I have in the deck and what is the um, um, desired <laughs> effects or, or working of the deck. But Without further delay, uh, we are <coughs> starting uh, the run uh, from the 70 steps and the setup is done. And as you can see, we don't have an encounter deck. So um, during the draw an encounter uh, card in the encounter from the encounter deck um, uh, step of the mythos phase, we skip that. So we don't have um, encounter cards before the game tells us we have encounter cards. So uh, we have a huge uh, doom threshold of 19, but uh, because I have played this a lot of times, we have to hurry and get through uh, the steps really fast to the, uh, for uh, the, the, what is it called, Enchanted Woods. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start. So, in the uh, intro of the, this campaign or, or this uh, scenario, uh, we took the criminal dream, so we get to play one of our illicit cards right off. So, I decided to put the thief's kit into play immediately. We want to get resources uh, to be able to use skit's own ability and do stuff with him. Uh, more easy with the resources. So, uh, first off, we will draw our opening hand. So, one, two, three, four, five. Mm, let's see. Uh, well connected. 21 or past lone wolf. Unexpected courage and lone wolf. We only need one lone wolf. I think we don't need that uh, right now. Well connected. I'll keep the rest. And we'll draw two more cards. We get on the lamb. We will redraw uh, hospital depths and we get lock picks. Okay. We shuffle these back into the deck. And start going. So. We shuffle to the deck. Okay. So. First action, we will just investigate with. No, uh, first action, we'll play uh, Lone Wolf. Uh, just thinking, where do I. I'll put it over here. We'll play Lone Wolf. Second action, we will investigate using the Thieves' Kit. So, investigating 4 versus 1. It is a plus 1. We'll gain a resource. We'll get the clue. And I'll do the fast action. At this point, I'll spend 2 resources. So, spend up to 3, three resources. Test the, a base skill value of 3 against a difficulty equal to the amount of resources just spent. If you succeed, Gain twice the number of uh, resource spent resources. So I am committing unexpected courage to this test. So uh, we are testing five versus two, and it is a minus one. So we'll gain two resources. And last action. So we played, investigated, 
last action will move because now we can move to the cavern of flame so you cannot enter cavern of flame unless all of the clues on the seven these steps have been discovered so they are and um, shroud of nine zero clues both up at the end of the middle space each investigator in the cavern of flame takes one damage okay then uh, if an investigator enters the cavern of flame immediately advance so priest of the dreamland so each investigator loses all of their clues Put the set aside notched and common thought enemies into play. In the Cavern of Flame, your slumber grows deeper. Add one skull token to the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. Next, uh, do not draw uh, cards from the encounter deck during the middle space. If neither Nost nor common thought are in play, immediately advance. So now we need to deal with those two. So we'll put those into play. So uh, the one we can uh, agility parlay, and the other we can uh, intellect or willpower parlay. So uh, fight or agility parlay, or we can fight them, but I think we are parlaying them. So those are in play in the Cavern of Flame. And that is uh, that, you know, enemy actions, so are, those enemies are aloof, so we'll uh, uh, ready draw a card, we get unexpected oh yeah um, <clears throat> when you leave the 70 steps take one horror for each card in your hand excess of 5 and we had 3 cards so we didn't take any horror so we could draw that and we gain a resource so that is that round, let's go to the next round we add a doom and we don't draw an encounter card so we'll go to investigation phase immediately first off I will do my skit stability to gain resources. Oh yeah, uh, at the end of the middle space we'll take one damage. So we'll take one damage to skits. So we'll do this. Uh, so base skill of three against three. And I will commit the unexpected courage to this test. So, uh, we are 5 versus 3, trying to get more resources on the skits. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to add the skull, and skulls are x axis to half the number of cards in your hand. Okay, so that, that's bad, but we'll see, so uh, 5 versus 3. 0, uh, we'll gain 3 resources. 1, 2, 3. And that is, of course, a fast action, so we don't lose any momentum doing that every round. We just have to commit some cards to pass the test. Or do it at uh, level 1 or something. But uh, I will... Oh yeah, uh, I also gained a resource from Long Wolf at the start of my round. First action. Mm. <clears throat> I think I will do the I'll play the well connected into play as my first action. And second action, we'll do the agility test. Uh, so parlay, and uh, we are parlaying four versus two. Uh, minus two tablet if you fail and this is an attack or evasion attempt against the swarming enemy at one one card to it so it isn't so this gets flipped over so this does uh, so we actually failed that because they, this gets plus one uh, difficulty which I forgot so I'll try it again Oh yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I'm using the well connected to this, test. so we, we are <laughs> slowing down, which is not good. So we gain uh, plus one for this skill test, so uh, now we are five versus three. So this is, uh, how this is x, x is the number of revealed enchanted notifications, so it's zero. So now we succeed, so... Uh, 
add this card to the victory display so we get the fluff text and this to the victory display and uh, that is our turn no enemy actions will go to upkeep we draw a card uh, 21 or bust get a resource that is that round let's go to the next round we add another doom uh, no encounter card so we'll go to the investigation phase uh, first thing first we'll get a resource from lone wolf we are one away from getting double from well connected so i'll do the fast action and i'll only put two to this agility test and uh, I want to use the on the lamb for this. No, I want to save that. So uh, I am three versus two. I will go four versus two, committing the twenty-one or bust. Uh, shame I would have wanted to play that, but I had, I don't have the time in this scenario. So 4 versus 2 and it is a 0 again so we generate a couple of more resources so I am actually changing some of these resources into 5 Okay that was fast so first action we will um, parlay with common saw and I'll commit the on the lamp for this test and uh, also well connected so we are uh, three four five six seven eight versus three minus two so add Common chart to the victory display. So now we advance. Uh, each investigator loses all of their clues. Put the set aside 700 steps, base of the steps, and the enchanted path locations in the play. Your slumber grows deeper at one. Skull token to the chaos pack. So we'll add that. Then, next, we need to get down the steps so we won't draw any cards uh, from the encounter deck yet because it doesn't exist yet if each investigator is at the enchanted path immediately advance so now we need to get down so we get this location this location and this location okay Last action, I will move to the 700 steps. And, uh, first, when you leave the 700 steps, take one horror for each card in your hand in excess of three. There's one clue here. Okay. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, we get money talks, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom, no encounter card, so we'll start investigating. First action, we'll use the lock picks to investigate here. 4 versus 2, not spending any cards for this. Uh, minus 0, so we'll pass and we'll gain a resource. Oh yeah, we gain a resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, I'm changing this to a fiver again. So we gain that, and uh, we will move to base of the steps. You cannot enter the base of the steps unless all the clues in 700 steps have been discovered. Of course, after you enter the base of the steps, if you have at least one card in your hand, test willpower X access the number of cards in your hand, not the committee cards to this test. If you fail for each card in your hand, you must either take one or, or discard that card. We can afford taking a couple of horror. So I am 
So investigate move. There's one clue here. And we are doing now fast the uh, skits ability. And I'll spend three. I'll play money talks. So now it's a, a skill test. Uh, now it is a a resource test. So your base skill is uh, half the number of resources in your resource pool run it down. So it is six versus three. I mean, let's see, I'll, I'll use one less, so now it's 6 plus 2. Minus 1, we'll gain 2 resources. So, we are at 15 resources now. Uh, I mean 16. And uh, last action, we will investigate using the well connected. So, plus three to the investigation. And also, I'm using the thief skits. Yeah, so. Four, seven against three. Uh, minus two, and we won't don't fail, so we'll get this clue. That is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. This spread is uh, we draw a card, a costian bargain, we get resource. 17 resources. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Oh, yeah. Um, when doom is placed on this agenda during the mythos phase, if an investigator is at the steps location, place one additional doom on this location. So I have been forgetting to do that, so we will add some doom here. So we're at actually 8 of 19. Okay, no encounter card, so we'll gain a resource from Lone Wolf in, at the start of the investigation phase. First action. Um, I'll just do the Two against one test on on the skits' ability. So two against one minus I mean three against two, so minus one, so we'll gain two resources. So we are at twenty resources. First action we'll move to the enchanted path. So let's read that in a moment. Okay, immediately advance into the enchantment. Each investigator loses all of their clues. Uh, your slumber close grows deeper. Add one skull token to the chaos pack for the remainder of the campaign. Remove each steps location from the game. Randomly choose. Uh, I think I've got to take one damage on each kids at one point. I'll add it now. Uh, randomly choose six of the set aside enchanted loot locations to. To put into play, remove the other copy from the game. Shuffle all the remaining set aside cards except all laboring gog and random carter to form the encounter deck. From now on, investigators draw cards from the encounter deck during uh, each meta space. Okay. So these are removed, they are not victory locations, so I'll just place them over here. Then uh, we'll get some. Locations. So there are seven, so we put six of these locations in play. First, we shuffle them. So, one, two, three, four, five. I put them on this. Okay, so this goes away. Now, uh, we have some connect. Connectors here, and these might get shuffled around during gameplay because some of these are connected to each other and some are not. So 
we might need to shuffle them around a bit. Okay. Now, objective. Only investigators at the enchanted path may spend the required number of tools as well to advance. And we need five tools. And uh, there is some fluff text here to remain on the path. So. here so the enchanted pad is connected to each enchanted wood location enchanted pad gets plus one shroud for each unrevealed enchanted wood location phase so it has shroud of eight uh tri triple actor you do as you were told but you feel that as though you are missing something based on who on the enchanted path for the, from the token pool. but we are not saying on the path so second action uh, just checking if I missed something so you can... Okay, so... Yeah, I'll just go over here first. And it is the Lost Wolves Force. After you reveal this location, if you do not leave this location before the end of the round, place one doom on the current agenda. And shot of four victory point one. So... Uh, do we want to stay here or go away to avoid the doom? So I am investigating here using the thieves kits. Just won't mind the doom. And I'm using the well connected, so plus four to my skill test. So we are investigating eight versus four. Elder sign. So uh, choose a level two or less card in your discard pile. Add the chosen card into your hand. I will pick the money tokens. And we get the clue. So we add one doom to the agenda. We are at nine of ten, uh, nineteen. That is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We ready up. We draw a card. You uh, offer you cannot refuse, so uh, campaign mode only. When you become the player of the game through resources, re revelation lose five resources. If you cannot, instead remove offer uh, you can refuse from the deck. Search the collection for fine print and place it in your discard pile. So we luckily have enough resources to pay the offer we cannot refuse. So that's that. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, so we add a Doom, uh, we forgot to shuffle our encounter deck, because now we are drawing one, so... <laughs> oh yeah, and we got, actually last turn we got one resource from the Thieves kit, as we succeeded in investigating. Okay, so... We added the Doom, first encounter card of the game is Grip Chill. Uh, willpower. Okay, so we'll just uh, test and lose the Thieves Kit because why not? Uh, two versus. Well, we could actually try to succeed. I think I'll do this so well connected. Oh, yeah. Uh, well connected, so we are uh, five versus four. Uh, why not? Six versus four. Minus two. So we pass. Well, that's a first with skits. So we don't lose any uh, assets we play. So that's good. So uh, we gain a resource from Lone Wolf. First action, we'll move here. Second action, we'll move here. So, Great Stone Circle, forced after this location is revealed, spawn the set aside laboring dog at this, at this location. Well, of course we get this laboring dog here. Last action, uh, to no surprise we are evading. So I'm committing the money talks to this test. So we have 18, so we are up by 8. Oh uh, no, yeah, we are up by 8, so we are, no, we are uh, 
well, against you, so... Evading... And... Uh, it's not a swarm enemy, so we evade this. And that's that, so... No enemy actions will go to upkeep, so this red is... Will actually more hit with that. So it's uh, engaged with us. And uh, we draw a card. Another thief's kit. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. So this is ready. So let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is. Stealthy Zook. Uh, spawn. Engage with the investigator at your location with the lowest uh, agility. Prey lowest. Uh, agility alert swarming one. So we put one swarming card underneath it. So now we have two enemies. So this is getting to be annoying. Okay. Well. First action. We will. Oh yeah, we gain a resource from Lone Wolf. So we are back to 20 resources. We don't have time to gamble anymore, or we don't need to gamble anymore. I think this is enough. Okay. I think I'm just evading the laboring gog. Uh, four versus two. So we need to succeed, or that guy hits us. So four versus two. Minus one. So that's evaded. Then uh, we will evade this. And uh, we will evade using the well connected. Uh, so we are 8 versus 3. Minus 3. So these are evaded. Last action we will investigate the thieves kit. Minus two will get this clue. Unfortunately we can't leave this location before these guys get us again, so we'll have to deal with them again next turn, but that is that, so we'll ready up these engage us again. We'll draw a card, lucky cigarette case, and we gain a resource. And we gained a resource from the thief's kit also, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, uh, 12 of 19, and count the card for this round is uh, Somniphobia. Our uh, test willpower 5 for each point you fail by take one horror to a maximum of 3 horror. For the purpose of counting icons committed to the skill test, uh, other icons than willpower or wild are one, and willpower are considered two. So uh, we are two versus five. I can afford take three or so I'm just testing. I'm not committing anything. Well, why the hell not? So we are. Uh, Four versus five. Okay, four versus five. Zero. Uh, we fail, but we only fail by one. So we'll take one for hits. And that is that encounter phase. First action. So we'll gain a resource from Lone Wolf. First action is to evade the laboring dog. Uh, four versus two. So. Skull. Skull is uh, minus x axis to half the number of your hand rounded up, so it is one minus one, so that is evaded. Then we will evade the stealthy zoop, and now I'm co uh, using the well connected. Minus three, so we pass easily. 
So this is evaded. Last action. We will get the hell out of here. So move here. And uh, that is our turn. No enemy actions will go up. He's, uh, these ready. And this can't move to enchanted path. And this doesn't have hunter. So we can ignore them for a moment at least. We'll gain a card. Gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Running out of room for the doom here. And counter card for this round is uh, obscuring four. So that's great. We don't have to care about that. Okay, lone wolf gives us a resource. So we are at 15 resources. Mm, that's great. <coughs> Let's see, first action will move down here. So enchanted woods, the moon tree, force. After you enter this location, you must either take two four or lose all of your remaining actions. So I'll take the four. Uh, one clue here. We need five clues, we only have two, so we need to. We need to get more clues, so. We are using the Thieves Kit. And uh, as our second action, and I'm using the Well Connected. Uh, so we are investigating. Uh, uh, let's see. 9 versus 3. Minus 1. Uh, we pass. We'll gain a resource from the Thieves Kit. We'll get this clue. Last action. Let's get out of here. Here and that is that round. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Lone wolf, we don't need it, but that's okay. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Uh, we are at. Uh, 14 of 19 encounter card is in conspicuous to spawn any connecting location. Hunter swarming to. Okay. When inconspicuous zoo is defeated, cancel all excess damage and move any of its remaining swarm host cards to a connecting location exhausted. So uh, let's see where do I want this guy to spawn? It is, it is Hunter, so. We need to be mindful of that. Mm. I think uh, this because... No. Yeah, uh, we'll spawn it here. Okay, that's the mythos phase done. Uh, investigation phase, we get a resource for Lone Wolf. First action, let's move here. Enchanted Woods, Village of Zoo. After a Zook enemy with the Swarming X Keeper spawns at this location, add one additional swarm card to it. Okay. So, this is not connected to that. That's great, but these are connected. Okay. Second action, we will play lockpicks, or yeah, we'll play lockpicks. These are hand, uh, hand assets. Okay, then uh, we will use the lockpicks to investigate. And I'll just commit the well connected. Why not? Uh, we are up by a million minus one. We'll uh, forgot we forgot to put the clue here, but we'll get the clue. We only need one more clue. Enemy face. Uh, this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep. Uh, we ready up everything. We draw a card. Post the bargain, and we get resource. Oh yeah. 
uh, yeah, we used lot picks, so now we didn't get the resource from uh, Thieves' Kids. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Uh, we are nearly done, so we are at 12, 30, 40, 15 of 19. Encounter card is a uh, Law of Ugiroth. So, Peril Hilden secretly add this card into your hand. You cannot play cards or commit cards to skill test with an odd number of words on their title. So, none are affected. So, we'll just put this here. Okay, well, screw that. We don't care. First action, we'll move here. This engages us. We will evade. I am committing well connected to this test. Uh, we are evading. Oh, yeah, long move again. A resource. Uh, evading 9 versus 2. Minus 4. So still we succeed, and this guy is evaded. Last action, we'll move to here. Enchanted Woods, uh, Stone Trap Door. While you are investigating this location, it gets plus one shroud for each card in your hand. Well, that's bad. Also, this is connected now, so we can switch these locations like this. Because now this is connected over here, which is bad because now this guy is lumbering in. We can't do anything about that. Okay, um, but there is the last clue there with which we need. So next round we can uh, evade, investigate, and move and spend the required number of clues. Yes, so that would be good. Okay, so uh, that is our turn. No, en uh, well, enemy actions. This guy hunts over here now. Engages us, hits us for 3 damage and 1 horror. And that is that, so we'll go to upkeep, we ready up, draw a card, Leo de Luca. So that we can't commit to as a kill test. And we gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the, possibly the last round of Okay, we add a Doom. We are uh, 16 of 19 Doom Encounter card is a Prismatic Phenomenon. So put Prismatic Phenomenon into play in your threat area. The first time you perform one of the following actions, draw, resource or play each round, it costs one additional action. Okay, well that doesn't affect our game plan for this round. First action is to evade this guy, and uh, we are committing these two to the test, so they both have all, uh, a even number of, yeah, so evading uh, 6 versus 2. Elder sign. So that is a uh, plus one. So we succeed. Uh, this guy is evaded. But we also get to pick a uh, level two or lower card. So we pick money talk. Second action will commit money talk to the test. Oh, yeah, we gain one resource from Lone Wolf at the start. So we are investigating. And uh, now it's uh, uh, against two. Three, four, five, six. Three against six. And we use lockpick, so we'll go to seven. Uh, I mean, we can't use lockpicks, no, so we don't need them. So uh, we are. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So, hmm. 
I can't count now. So I am half of this. So I'm uh, 25, 29, or 28. So uh, 14 versus uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 14 versus 6. And it is a plus one. We'll grab this clue. Last action, we'll move over here. And we spend the clues to advance. And uh, <coughs> let's. So, draw, resource, or play. We didn't do any of those, so we didn't lose any actions. Okay, new visitors. So, the investigators must decide to choose one step back and watch this real scene play out. Interrupt the scared cat and handle this yourself. The scarred, not scared, the scarred cat. So I'll uh, step back and watch the uh, surreal scene play out. So don't care about those uh, zooks. I rather ally with the cats. We'll see later. But yeah, uh, we get resolution uh, one from the campaign guide. Let's see, uh, resolution one. In your camp log, record the cats collected their tribute from the zoos. Anyone investigator may choose to add Randolph Carter, expert dreamer, the Dream Eaters card 59 to their deck. This doesn't count towards the investigator's deck size. So we already have uh, Randolph in the correct color of sleeves, so we'll add Randolph Carter to our deck. And. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. So 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 experience gained. So that's okay. Uh, we could have gone here to get uh, two more experience, but I think uh, it's better to get out safely without taking any trauma. And uh, we already have two, so that. That's good enough, so that went pretty well. We got Randolph Carter, which is a given, and then we got 9 experience to uh, um, upgrade skips. Uh, next time in this series we are playing uh, uh, Parallel Roland in the Waking Nightmare scenario, so look forward to that. Hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching, and until next time.